please pardon the table that is on my bench. Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. There are many, many hand tools on my list of things I want in the future. Um, very few of them do I really need. There are tools that are only for one particular purpose, and there are tools that work for a lot of different things. And uh, you know, if I wanted to, I could do a chisel, uh, use a chisel and make just, just about anything. It would take a long time, but I could do it. But then there are tools that have a very specific purpose, and when you get to use them, like a compass plane, they're a lot of fun, and it's a very cool tool, but there aren't very many times that you can use one. The tool I have today is one of those. This is called a miter trimmer, or a miter shear. Uh, I've heard it a couple different terms. And basically what this is, is it is a shooting board on steroids. And I want to introduce it to you and uh, show you a little bit about what it can do. So this is a miter trimmer. And basically it has these fences that you can set up and there's the locking mechanisms so you can lock them at 90 degrees or at 45 degrees. And then you can also tighten them down to any any, any increment in between. So if you're going to be doing things with, uh, you know, a five piece, eight piece, six piece, whatever you want, you can find that angle and then lock it down at whatever that angle is. And then you have this big ratcheting arm that will run all the way across and shear one side or the other. And when I first saw these, I thought it was kind of a gimmick and uh, just kind of like a, a big paper cutter and not all that impressive. But then I got to try one and it changed my mind. So I want to show you this. So here's the mechanism on the back. You can tell there's basically just this big gear that rides in there. A really, really simple system and then two big blades. So what exactly is this thing good for? Well, you can put your stick in here and you can line it up to the edge. You just go a little bit over. You don't want to take off too much. You can probably take off a sixteenth if you really push it. But then it just shears off the end. And you have a perfect 90 degree cut that is extremely smooth, glass finish, and if you have this fence set all the way up against the blade, you're not going to have any tear out on it, and just absolutely perfectly glass smooth. But then the really cool thing comes when you go up to here, and you line it up with that 45 degree mark, and then you set it in here at the 45 degrees, and you go shear. And I just cut off a very, very large chunk, and I know that this is perfect dead on, 45 degrees, absolutely clean and clear, beautiful, beautiful joint. <laughs> and I'm just really happy with how well this works. So let me just show you what this looks like from the back side here. I'll just line it up and I'm going to slide it past just a little bit, about a 30 second or so, and then shear it off. And you get these perfect curls coming off on every stroke. This is just a, a crazy amount of fun. So you can take off a really fine shaving, like that, or you could take off something a little larger and really chop through these. And you can see, perfectly clear, perfectly smooth surface. Even if I switch it over here to 45, you can see how it'll do basically the exact same thing here. Line it up right where you want it, and then cut off that 45 degree cut. Perfectly clear, perfectly smooth, clean cut. So I bought this one at a Midwest Tool Collectors Association meet, and I paid about 80 bucks for it. A lot of fun. Uh, you can buy them brand new. I think they're like 220 or so. And I want to do a little bit of work on this one and clean it up. I think I can sharpen the blades a bit. They're, they're pretty sharp, but I think I can make them a little sharper. And so I might have a video on cleaning up and restoring it. It's a very simple tool. There's really only two moving parts, the handle and the head. And then, of course, the fences you can move around. It's just a, a straightforward, fun tool. So if you do a lot of picture frames or you do a lot of small boxes and things like that where you need a miter or you can fit in something that's about, you know, three inches by two inches or so, um, this is a fantastic tool. And I'm looking forward to using it. You may see it popping up here and there in the shop. So I thought I would take a few minutes and show you my new favorite toy. Uh, yes, I'm having fun. So if you want to uh, find out more about this, I'll leave some information down in the links below. And uh, as always, I am having a lot of fun in the shop, and I hope... And as always, I do want to say thank you to the patrons on Patreon. You guys are the reason why I can show off some fun things like this. And I'm probably going to be doing another video soon on my new compass plane. 
and uh, showing how that works and restoring my other one. There's a few other tools like that that I want to bring out. So if there's some particular tool you'd like to see me use or some particular tool you'd like to see demonstrated, let me know. I'd love to see that. If you do want to find out more about Patreon or help out with the channel, you can do so right down there. Also, you can subscribe and see some behind the scenes videos on my second channel. That's about it for today. Until next time, have a wonderful day.